Holy cow, it is super early. I am up and at them bright and early. <laughs> yeah, 537, that's right. That's when I was already on the road. I got up at like 445 this morning to get out here to the Tampa International Airport to catch my 6.30 a.m. flight to Dallas-Fort Worth because I am headed to Denton, Texas to the Peterbilt factory to go check out some really cool trucks and meet up with our good friends Tommy and Brian at Semi-Casual and Fitzgerald Peterbilt and maybe find Bill Rethwich. And then I accidentally um, Ubered myself to the wrong Peterbilt facility. That worked out great. But then I ended up finding the right place here in Denton, Texas, off Airport Road or something like that. And inside there were some pack car engines, which were really cool. And then uh, I ended up finding Brian and Tommy when everything went as planned. So please bear with me on all the wind, but we've made it out here to one of Peterbilt's overflow lots. There's tons of brand new trucks here just waiting to get shipped out. Or waiting on maybe a few miscellaneous parts to be installed, but look what we found. The Peterbilt super truck trailer. <laughs> so we're gonna be finding the super truck here in a few hours, but Let's check this trailer out. I was saying, I know a lot of people don't like the aerodynamics, but it's so just different and cool. So it's made by Great Dane, but look at all like, oh, the wind is so bad. I'm sorry about the wind, but where's the tires at? And look underneath this thing. Like the amount of aerodynamic it's see <laughs> it's in this, it's all fiberglass. The only thing I'm curious about is like, how much weight does this like add to it? Putting all this stuff on here. It's gotta add something, you know? In the pictures I saw, when this thing is like hooked up to the truck, the truck kind of like sits down inside here. Pretty crazy. It's like just different. Like here's a the super truck trailer, and here's a normal trailer. So you can see the difference. Like night and day. So you gotta see if you, I'm anything at the back of it too. So even right here at the very back of this thing is like aerodynamic all the way down to the way they put that around the bottom of the bump for bumping docks and stuff wow so it's got like active aero where this thing will like open and close and do all kinds of stuff see those air cylinders right there Isn't that crazy and there's a bunch of stacked up peterbilt trucks so also while we're up here brian or ryan stayed back home uh, he went on vacation while I flew out here to Texas, but Bill Rethwich drove his Peterbilt down here, and they're getting this thing cleaned up. About to take a bunch of pictures with it. We're going to be doing some other cool stuff at the factory today. So what are we polishing this thing up for? Getting some pictures taken of it? I guess. Just trying to make it look pretty, man, just in case somebody wants to see it. You know, you never <laughs> know. at the factory, you got to look decent, right? we got to show them what these trucks should be built to look like. Exactly. We're going to try to show them <laughs> how they need to look coming out, out of the, the factory. factory. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Like, this okay. is what it looks after a $200,000 conversion. Oh, that's it, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's all. What box do you check off on that whenever you order one of these things? <laughs> Man. The Rethwich package. The Rethwich and semi casual package. There you go. There we go. We'll just call it the legendary package. Oh, there you go. Even better. <laughs> so Luke came out here with Bill and he's in here cleaning. Get this thing all cleaned up. Bill, since you guys might have seen it last on my channel, had a bunch of um, pinstriping done. It looks really cool. All right, so if anybody wants a t-shirt of this truck, oh. we have a Project Legendary t-shirt. They're t -shirt. available on your website? It's on semicasual.com. Or, uh, no, wait, semicasualshow.com. <laughs> I always get that wrong. Brian's I'll put that us. on the screen so no one forgets. <laughs> so you don't forget. Just looks freaking sexy. So this is the deck plate we're, having. we're putting on my truck right now. Looks so freaking good. Ugh, can't wait to get my truck done. There they go. All right, so we've got Bill's truck behind. That thing looks so good behind us. Just yeah. the, the all lit up. So what are we doing with this thing? We're putting it in front of the Peterbilt Yeah, we're factory. just gonna, we're gonna pull up to the front door. We got some guys who wanna see it uh, that have never seen. They said they've never seen uh, a truck that customized is what they're, what they're saying so because you basically took all their work apart yeah we, everything they did here we took it all 100 percent apart and then made it better yeah then made it better so whoa did you see that the batmobile what oh my the actual batmobile <laughs> go get it 
<laughs> what a, what in the world? Like, what, like, why is that here? Literally a Batmobile on a tow truck. I don't think we were in Hollywood. Oh, look, there's some people out front waiting on us. Yeah. Yep. So this is it. Peterbilt Manufacturing Headquarters. We got guys in yellow hats, so they must be important. They're, they're the ones that are uh, waiting, waiting on us here. So I went inside and helped Shock put some fenders on Bill's new 389X. It's over here. We're going to go look at it in just a second. But they took a bunch of photos in front of the Peterbilt headquarters with Bill's beautiful 389 Project Legendary with his trailer and stuff like that. So we're over here in the lot with all these trucks and trailers here that are just waiting to be shipped out. And over here is Bill's 389X. So this is what goes into making really cool reels and awesome photos. And you got Brian over here taking a smoke break, but <laughs> they managed to get this ladder from uh, one of these shops up here at the Peterbilt uh, storage lot. <laughs> oh boy, but look at that truck. This is VIN number two of the 389X trucks. I don't know how many they're gonna be building exactly, but um, it's pretty rare. So the number one truck is going at a Peterbilt museum and Bill over there talking is getting number two and he's gonna put it in his personal museum at his house. So while Brian and I were doing stuff with that 389X, you guys can go over to the Semi Casual YouTube channel. You guys know where it's at, just Semi Casual on YouTube. Go check them out. There's gonna be a full dedicated video of that truck. We're walking around here. There's this fella over here stacking trucks. And look at these Skittles. Peterbilt Skittles right here. <laughs> We've officially snuck into the Peterbilt storage lot. Let's check these things out. These have got to be like a car haulers or something because of the tires that are on them and how low they sit and the small wheels and stuff on the back. But such a very unique set of colors because these trucks are all going to the same place, best I can tell. Oh, look at this one. Now, this is a classic 11R 22.5s. I like this truck. Oh, it's got the small bunk and old breathers. Wow. Okay, this is super similar to what my new truck that's going to be coming. It's got 11R 24.5s. This literally could be my truck if it was blue. So mine that I ordered has got the big rubber 11R 24.5s just like this, literally. Mine's gonna have the chrome bumper that I ordered, the factory chrome bumper with no cab lights on it with the old breathers. Crazy how similar this is, it's insane. Same sm style, small death tank on it big rubber on the rear lock and rears wow but these are not um 46k rears but dang do i like this big rubber on this thing i wish the trader taxi had a big rubber like this that would make a massive difference in the way the truck sets there's water in the parking lot i'm getting my shoes soaking wet <laughs> check it out it's even got a split tank Hopefully Brian didn't order my truck green because this might be it <laughs> with the stacks and everything. Wow. Split tank too. That's crazy. So the split tank is from running like a wet kit and stuff like that. So you see that right there. So you can put hydraulic oil in it and stuff. But man, do I like the big rubber on it. It looks just makes it, it's got the classic like semi look to it. That's what I like the most. So I ran into Mr. Fred in here. This is a stacking building where they bring these trucks in for companies that because you guys don't actually ship them out right it's the other companies you work with and they stack them up and they can pick them up with these trucks in here now like Tommy and then when they unstack them they call a rotator out at the dealerships and but this is like it doesn't it's all remote control it doesn't care what it picks up it's just picking it up <laughs> crazy just a dedicated building to it so cool so I commandeered a truck from the uh, Mr. Fred up here at the Fitzgerald, not Fitzgerald, but the Peterbilt guys. And look at these heavy spec trucks. That's a pride and class heavy spec truck too right here. Check that baby out. Look at them axles. Wow. Now that is a long truck. If I ever saw one there, folks. These have got to be set up for some kind of a record body or something. Crazy. They're so long that's hanging out in the grass. Look at that. I like that paint scheme. It's like a, I can't remember what, a uh, tribal paint scheme, I think is what Tommy called it. It's insane that the trucks that are here 
are just being pumped out left and right and every single one of them is different almost there's like other than some of these fleet trucks like right there and you know you see that one over there but every other single truck is just something about it is different than the one that came out before or after it so you just imagine when they're in the factory having to build these trucks and change whatever tooling and machinery and stuff they're using to build this stuff it's just nuts so tomorrow i'm also going on a factory tour to see all the different things inside the factory at, here at Peterbilt. I'm not sure if we're gonna get to drive anything, or I'm sorry, film anything, but we're gonna find out. And also, I'm still trying to find the super truck. We found it, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to film it today or tomorrow or even Wednesday. But that is the freaking goal, to find the super truck and the electric Peterbilt. Did you tell me after all these nuts screwing around we've been doing, I take them all back up? Oh, That's all back the one on. I put on pretty good. <laughs> There's a couple, I can't get them off my hand. That's why I asked for that tool, I'm like, we can put these on better with the tool, but then you're like, oh, we're going to be taking them back off in no, two yeah, hours. They're just, they're, just for, they're just for a few minutes. Just for show. What if the sun comes out tomorrow and you need to put them all back on? I know. And we don't have them anymore. <laughs> Maybe we'll take a bus. So. All right, guys, that's a wrap for day one here at the Peterbilt factory in Denton. I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully finding the super truck. I'm super tired. You see the bags in my eyes. I caught that. 6.30 a.m. flight this morning here to Denton, Texas, or Dallas-Fort Worth, and then to Denton. But anyways, we'll be hopefully finding that super truck tomorrow at the factory and doing a factory tour, and I'll be showing you guys everything I can show within reason because there's a lot of things that I want you guys to see just for proprietary reasons. But shout out to Tommy and Brian and Fitzgerald, Peterbilt, and Semi-Casual. Go check them out. I know they're going to be putting that 389X video up in the next couple days, guys. We'll see you later. Peace.